How to email out a survey. In this video, we will show you how to email out a survey. First, we need to upload and import your contact list. It is strongly recommended that you create an individual list for each group you wish to send the survey to. For example, here I have created a list for first year students. I've listed the name and email address of all the students I wish to send the email to. I have shown only the first name, last name and email address. This will make the import easier. The list must be saved as a CSV file. Click on Import Contacts. Make sure Import from a CSV file is selected. Click Next. Select Upload New CSV File. Give your import list a name and description. Remember the name cannot have spaces but the description can. Click Choose File and then browse to where you saved the file. Select your file, press Open, press Next. The next step is to map the data onto our system. If you have used common headings in your CSV file, then it will usually do this automatically, like it has here. Then click Finish. Now you must wait for the import to complete. As you can see, the status bar is running here, so the import is loading. This usually takes only a few seconds, depending on the size of the file. Once the list has uploaded, click on Home and return to the main screen. Next, click on Create Email. Give the campaign a title, in this case, First Year's Sample Survey, and note the campaign manager. Next, you can fill in the email subject line. This is the message that will appear in the subject line of the email sent to participants. Next, fill in the from and reply to email addresses and names. They can be different, but usually they will be the same. The email address cannot be a Gmail address. Next step is to create your email design. Click on Add New. Give the design a name and description. Next, choose a template. It's best to use the full schools template we have created for you. The template has three blocks, header block, main block and footer block. You can edit or delete any of them. However, the only one you need to edit is the main block in the middle. Click Edit Line. The editor then opens. This works in the same way as most word processors do. Type in what you need in the email. It is very useful to personalize each email. We have already done this in the template. If you wish to change it, you can use the toolbox on the right-hand side to do this. Select Personalize and choose what you want to include. Next, you add the survey you want. You should have created this earlier. First, highlight the text that you want to attach the link to. Click on Email Links. Then click on Survey Links. Select the survey you want to send from the list. When you are finished, click Save. You can send a test email if you wish, and once you're happy with your email, click Save and Close. Now you have created your email including the link to your survey, the next step is to select the list of contacts you wish to send the survey to. We have automated this process for you. Click on Send Email Wizards. Click on the email design you have just created. Click Next. Give the email campaign a name and description. Select Use an imported list and then choose the file you have already uploaded. Click Next. Finally, click Finish and then click Send Emails. Your email broadcast is now queued and will be delivered in a few minutes. If you want to see the results and track how many people are opening your email, return to the home screen and then click View Results. 
As you can see, your email campaign has been sent and awaiting responses. If you click on Work with Campaign, you get a much more detailed analysis of your email campaign. And that's all you need to know. If you have any questions or queries, please do not hesitate to contact our support team. Thank you.